Oh my god, there's just always so much crap to get together, it's ridiculous. You got a bit of water in there, eh? Well, if we can take it into the hotel tonight... Yeah, you'd be good. Yeah, you yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Yes, please. Alright folks, welcome back to another trip. Man, it has been a crazy couple of days. We're just getting ready to go. We're launching here in uh, Ville Marie. I am with Mr. Ledger and his wife and we got a great crew for this ride. And we're going to be heading up to Rouen, Noranda. Which should be pretty sweet. Oh my god, there's just always so much crap to get together, it's ridiculous. Hey Cardo, music off. Forgot to lock the trailer for sure. There we go. Yeah, definitely looking forward to getting out on the trails, talk to you guys in a little bit. It's been a pretty crazy couple of days for me uh, just coming back from the skidoo uh, 2025 launch and it's just i'm excited to relax for a bit get some more riding in because we're not really sure what's happening with the weather so we'll see how she goes oh nice to be back on the trail it's been a crazy couple of days just with the launch of the skidoo 2025s and winning the yellow blood contest i'm just happy to be out riding uh, but man was that an awesome time Here's Leggy and his wife, Terry. Yeah! <laughs> Good? Okay. All right, so we've got a, we drove kind of half the morning and we're basically heading up to uh, Ruan Naranda. We're gonna spend a couple of days there. It should be awesome. Uh, rocking the 900R for this trip again uh, just because again this is kind of my main trail sled to put on the miles this year and we are definitely looking a little thin but not too bad I think once we get up uh, towards kind of the uh, 63 we should be in good shape so I thought I'd take this opportunity just because I didn't actually film what happens next but we weren't even 10 minutes into the ride and we met a group that had pulled over uh, just off to the side of the trail and there was a little creek bed and one of the sleds actually got completely stuck in this creek and so Chris and I and the rest of our crew we jumped off our sleds and we helped these guys out just to get this uh, brand new 900R out of the creek so again I didn't have it all on video but uh, I did catch you know the end of it which you guys will see in a second oh you got a bit of water in there eh well, if we can take it into the hotel tonight... Yeah, you would be good. Yeah, you <laughs> 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 All right, guys. Have a good one. I'll oh, just have to pull that guy out of the river a bit. All right, here we are just coming into one of the uh, relays here. Been here a million times. Le Relay Resto Bar. And we'll just wait here for uh, Leggy and his wife, Terry. And I got Liquid Larry should be behind me. There he is, Liquid Larry. Going good? It's a beautiful day. It's a nice day. There's Mr. Ledger himself. Mechanic keeping us on the trails at all times. <laughs> and we're just gonna continue making our way up the 63. It's a pretty easy route. I mean, it's pretty much straight up to get to Rouen. Trails are definitely a little thin on snow, but hey, like anybody this year, if you wanna ride, you gotta make the best of it. 
and regardless of snow no snow if you're looking for 10 out of 10 conditions it ain't gonna happen at least here now I did hear that once you get up uh, once we get a little further up it does get better and conditions will improve and there's more snow so yeah we'll see how it goes pretty good actually it's really not bad at all like sure once you're out of the tree sections you're gonna get some of the the patchier spots but uh, really not too bad whatsoever I'd rather ride this than ride the couch that's what I always say absolutely <laughs> here comes Chris and Terry on the badass Cobra I called me from Newfoundland, bought an MCX kit off me, eh? Yeah. He said, this thing doesn't work, it's a piece of shit. Oh, God. So I said, oh, yeah? Okay. I said, usually it's an installer issue. No, we know what they're doing. All right. We know what you're doing. I said, okay. So he says he did all this, do this. I can't find nothing wrong with it. I said, okay. Tell me what your, uh, tell me what color your injector wires are on. Yeah. Totally backwards. Completely off. Yeah. I said, I told you. Oh, boy. That's why I phoned you. <laughs> Five minutes ago, it was a piece of shit. <laughs> yeah. I said, you got, I said, you have the wires totally backwards, bud. Oh, yeah. Bye. <laughs> <laughs> okay. So this thing yeah. is way better. Is it now? Like way better. Yeah. So it's super smooth. Yeah. Like smooth. That's probably the smoothest smart shock sled I've ever ridden. So those springs must make a huge difference. Oh yeah, huge. And they're like, on the softest. It's it's amazing. Yeah. She's thin. Yeah, she's thin, but still, it's yeah. still good though. Yeah. It drives me nuts. It drives me crazy. Look at mine. It looks like I went through a swamp. And we're gonna make our way up uh, 63. We're on 303 now, and gonna head to 83, which will take us up into uh, Rouen. And I've had a crazy couple of days. I just got back. We um, we finished up with the 2025 Skidoo launch, which was just an incredible experience. So I ended up winning the uh, Yellow Blood contest through Snow Tracks. Got to spend a couple of days with uh, Luke Lester. Honestly, uh, I've been watching him for two decades on TV and love the uh, the Snow Tracks channel on YouTube. And He's been honestly inspirational, so it was pretty cool just to be able to hang out with him. We even got to cut a couple of videos while we were at the 2025 launch together, which was amazing. And, uh, you know, got to tour the factory, tour the museum. It was just overall for any BRP lover, any Skidoo lover, it was uh, just a phenomenal experience for me, both personally and then also, you know, for sled addicts and all the stuff that we're uh, we're trying to do as well so it's been amazing now we're out riding i'm gonna enjoy a couple of days ride and uh looking forward to hanging out with ledger and uh his wife and liquid larry's along with us again and we got jeff hunt who will be coming up tonight to meet us in ruan so it's gonna be an epic couple of days i'm i'm sure it's gonna be a lot of fun a lot of laughs Gonna do a bunch of day trips out of Rouen, staying at the Quality Inn as usual. And uh, I'm sure we're gonna have uh, lots of drinks and dinner and stuff at the cage next door. And then Chris is gonna plan uh, just a couple of different day trips, probably head towards Val d'Or and uh, maybe even Amos uh, for a day. So we'll plan a couple of day loops out of uh, Rouen. Should be a beautiful couple of days. And I'm excited. It's been such a busy, you know, couple of days just with uh, coming off of uh, the 2025 launch. I kind of just wanted to get some downtime and just get some riding in. So I was in the truck this morning at 4 a.m. I got, I got back from Quebec yesterday at 3 p.m. in the afternoon. We split the drive up and uh, hung out with the wife, had dinner, saw my dogs unpacked and packed my link bags and I essentially just got in the truck this morning at 4 a.m. to head over to Ledger's place to meet everybody and uh, I met them for 6 a.m. and you know we were on the trails by 11 so should be a nice little run about 200k up to get to Rouen and uh, yeah it's great to be back out on the trails and get some more riding in. All right, we're just on this 83 section, and I remember this part of it is always awesome. Whee! 
absolutely mint 10 out of 10 look at this gorgeous day definitely some crappy sections but again you're for this year given the crappy snow season it's been it is what it is i mean this is absolutely beautiful really nice running in through here I wanted to talk a little bit too about this uh, this 900R again. As you guys know, we've been working with Chris Ledger this year. And he made some more changes even for me. Um, I had it serviced after our last gas bay trip with him, did an oil change. And he actually found that I broke my limiter strap and I also broke the chain tensioner in there. So he, f he basically you know fixed all that for me. And what we also noticed, and I I've seen it before, I mean, even with the mock, how the back end really sags and hits the uh, the snow on the uh, on the mock, and I knew at some point like I should have I should have probably got big boy springs for this thing early on. Anyway, bottom line is Chris put some uh, some of the big boy springs in this thing, and now it's way better. This is hands down best handling 900 R I've ever ridden. This thing is super dialed now and. I can say way smoother. It's so smooth. The back end is actually jacked pretty good. We compared it to one of the other sleds. As you can see, it's like two, three inches for sure higher. And um, I can't believe how much different it is. It handles awesome. So yes, broken the limiter strap was probably an issue on my gas bay trip. And the chain tension thing was a problem, but um, Wow, since he's uh, made those changes now with these big boy springs, they're actually only set it on they're only set on one, believe it or not. Now I'm not carrying gas today, which also makes a big difference, but uh, man, it, it rides awesome. Going good, Terry? Yeah? I know, some sections were pretty brutal. Want some Twix? Alright, well we're just coming through Roulette now and it's been a pretty decent mix of riding actually. Better than what I thought it was going to be. Yes, there's definitely some spots that are are bare in the fields, but for the most part it's actually been, uh, been pretty good. Uh, put on 100k already, like pretty quick. And again, like we're making the best of it, right? I wish there was more snow. It's just been a tough, tough go this year. But we did catch a really nice day because the temps are really warm today. So it's like total spring riding conditions. It's like so nice out. But you can see you go from kind of like nice groom conditions like this and then you get some of these bare spots on uh, like that. Anyway, pretty good. We got about another, I don't know, 80K to go maybe to get to uh, Ruan. And we'll settle in at the Quality Inn like we always do. Great spot up there to hang out. And then uh, Liquid Larry is going to be my roommate for the next couple of nights. We're going to settle in. Get all our stuff uh, off the sleds and then go hit the cage, which is a great place. Chris was telling me tomorrow night we actually might hit. There's a wicked steakhouse that he was raving about. He says it's awesome. So... We're going to check that out tomorrow night. I'll try to get the name. You said there's an Italian steakhouse, which I haven't been to. So we'll uh, we'll get the name of that and tell you guys where we end up. I love when you typically are coming into Rouen. It's still going to be a bit, but you start to get into a lot of those uh, really fun hills. Can't wait to get to some of those sections. But the 83 is awesome the whole way up. It's such a wicked trail. I actually really like it on the north side of Rouen, too. All right, just a quick pit stop. And we're about 36 clicks outside of uh, Rouen. So it was a pretty quick, like 135K up to um, up to that pit stop. And like I said, kind of all day today, trails have just been, well, they've softened up just because it's been so, so, um, it's been so warm today. But uh, like I said, it's been a, a mix of really good, with some snurdy stuff. But as we kind of got a little further north here into uh, Ward's Ruan, you can see how nice the views are. And this is where you get into kind of like the nice hilly sections and stuff. So it's pretty awesome. It's good running. Ledger kills me. He's got nicknames for everybody. 
So funny, everyone's got nicknames with him and his crew. Today we're running with Nipples and Hot Rod. I'm still Snap Nuts, I think. I've got a bunch of nicknames, actually. My nickname, for the most part, has been Shoots. Shooter. Short form for Shooter. Man, what a blast. So happy to be out riding again and getting some more miles on this year and just making the best of it. I know a lot of people have been complaining, but the reality is we talked about it on the way up and we've said this every year for the last couple of years. If you want to ride, you just got to drive. You're going to have to get in the truck and put some miles on, hook up the trailer and away you go. But you can see in here, it's beautiful and there's actually more snow here. Totally like spring-like conditions and what's going to end up happening is uh, they're actually calling for a flash freeze. So the temps are going to plummet. 10 degrees some point I think either later this afternoon or maybe tonight and it's gonna drop significantly fast and it's gonna get real cold I think tomorrow is gonna be around like minus 15 minus 20 so things are gonna change fast I'm really hoping that we'll get some light dusting of uh, snow on top because the trails are going to go rock hard all right well here we are we're just coming into Rouen now not a bad ride actually all things considered we are going to make our way actually to Canadian Tire first because Larry I think forgot his shoes and wants to get a pair of Crocs so we'll do that then we're going to check into the uh, Quality Inn right across the street there hope you guys uh, enjoy the first day up here in uh, in Rouen, we'll have lots more footage for you. In the meantime, I'm gonna screech across this parking lot and make my way over there. So we'll uh, we'll see you guys tomorrow. Yes, please. What do we want? Where is the bush? Oh, there is bush. There we go. Look at that. I found it. Patience is all you need. 